welcome back to your hour. Joining me now is Lori Beck. She is with Wichita Alternative Gift International. Correct. Yes. And you're having a gift market. We are. Saturday. Yes. The 25th Annual Wichita Alternative Gift Market takes place tomorrow from 10 to 4 at First Presbyterian Church here in downtown Wichita, 525 North Broadway, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. That's and right. And so it's your opportunity to get all of your holiday shopping complete in one stop. So whether you're purchasing things for... Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Boxing Day, Christmas, maybe there's someone's birthday, anniversary, or a new baby that's born, you can get all of your shopping done one fell swoop. So tell me, what does alternative gifts mean? Well, you know, we'll have to go back to like 1980 when there was a woman named Harriet Pritchard, and she was involved in the Pasadena Presbyterian Church out in California, and she was a Sunday school teacher, and she wanted to get across the concept you don't always have to give in order to receive. Does that make sense? So, mm -hmm. for example, I have an aunt. Her name is Aunt Amy, and she's 87 years old. She does not need another stuffed cat. Yeah. I have an <laughs> uncle, Uncle Edwin. He does not need another tie. Yeah. And so instead, people go to these alternative gift markets, and they support a cause, and they donate money, that might help someone in Sudan have clean water or someone in Haiti have a better lifestyle or maybe some nurses in Vietnam learn and get the education they need. Mm -hmm. So in your honor, I might purchase an ornament and give that ornament to you mm -hmm. and someone else in the world is getting a better life and you're not getting things cluttered with another stuffed cat yeah and or another tie or something that you really don't need well we all have too much stuff i i like to believe that as well absolutely mm -hmm. and so sometimes it's just the way we gift we uh -huh. can actually change the world by changing the way we gift to people around the well, world well and i know in your uh, a booklet i've i've mm -hmm. uh, i haven't had one right recently but i've I've had some of your booklets before, and it is amazing how far money can go in some of these other countries and what oh, it can do. It, it's very powerful currency. It really is. Um, for example, you know, like for $500, you might be able to fund a month of swimming lessons for children up in Alaska who need to learn to swim because water is so essential. It's part of their livelihood. Mm -hmm. But drowning up there is, well, it's fatal, but yeah. in cold water drowning is horrible. And so if you teach these children how to swim, then hopefully they're not going to drown. Or if they do fall into the water when they're fishing or hunting, they'll know, they'll know what how to do. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and so we have, a, uh, we have one of our causes this year is about swimming lessons uh, for kids up in Alaska as well. So um, yes. it is a mostly volunteer run mm -hmm. or market. And nationwide, there are probably going to be close to 100 gift markets this holiday season, which is pretty amazing in itself. And about 90 percent, not about, 90 percent of the money that you uh, contribute toward Alternative Gifts International go directly to that cause. Only 10 percent is kept here uh, to run the, the office here mm -hmm. in Wichita. So it's a very uh, efficient organization, yeah, I'd say and so. most of the money goes toward the causes that, that you indeed want to support. Um, so g can you open up the book sure. just briefly and, and read one of the, one of the causes? Because I think this is fascinating. It, it really is. One of my favorites has to do with Save the Timber Elephants. So these are elephants in Minamar or Burma okay. and basically they have retired from their job mm -hmm. well after they've retired they need care just like sure. us old humans that have retired <laughs> as well and so there are times when they may not have the food or the shelter needed and so this particular cause is helping older elephants go into their retirement in a dignified manner okay. um, or maybe there's sea turtles my uncle loves to watch National Geographic. And so, for example, I'm going to be giving him an ornament mm -hmm. that's based on this, uh, the Hawksbill, Hawksbill sea turtles. They're an endangered species. Uh -huh. And so not only is the Nature Conservancy helping the sea turtles, but they're also gathering information for research. Um, so I'm going to make my Uncle Edwin happy uh -huh. because he knows that just by living in Wichita, someone is helping sea turtles around the world uh, from becoming extinct. Yeah. It's kind of fun. And, and in, in his honor. 
Yeah. Exactly. So right. It's yep. it, you know, it, and there's a lot of people that I know have no children, mm -hmm. and so uh, a lot of times you don't really know how to purchase a gift for someone like that because exactly. you don't know what their interests are. You mm -hmm. don't know. You just don't know. Right. But in a case like this, you don't have to know. <laughs> exactly. Right. Um, a lot of times there's there's 30 different causes in the catalog every single year and they change year to year. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I just, if I don't know the person very well, I think about what they did uh, for their um, for their livelihood uh -huh. and pick a cause that will totally like melt. That. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. So. Well, Lori, it was a real pleasure meeting well, thank you. you. And this market is tomorrow at from 10 to 4. 10 to 4, First Presbyterian Church. Okay. Well, thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you. Appreciate it.